Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Unfortunately, if you only invest and only buy stocks in today's market, it's going to be a while before you actually start to make money. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the top three options that you could buy, buy puts on, that's saying that the market is going to go down and you can make money while the market is pulling back. The reason that I believe the market is pulling back is because we are very close to being in a recession. In one of my other videos, we know that VOO tracks the market. And I said that when we are in a recession, we want to look at the P.E. ratio of VOO. And right now it's at 23.17. But this is old data. The new data on Robinhood, it shows that it's at 23.17. And we know that during a recession, the market don't usually tend to recover or hits a bottom until VOO P.E. ratio is around 12. So although Robinhood did not update their P.E. ratio yet, we have seen that in the market, VOO just recently dipped below 19% for the first time since 2020. Now we still have a long ways to go before it pulls all the way back to 12. So while we're entering a recession, it looks like we might enter one. While we're entering one, the market's probably gonna pull back all the way until VOO PE ratio reaches around 12%. So one of the ways that you could buy options, you can hit trade, trade options, Go out a week or a couple of weeks, you want to buy a put, and that is saying that the market is going to go down. So the more the market pulls back, the more money you're going to make on the option that you bought. Now, there's nothing wrong with buying stocks right now while they're on sale, but the return that you're going to see on them is going to be, it's going to take a while, guys. We could be in a bear market from anywhere for one to two to three to four years, guys. We could be inside of a bear market, but it is good to buy good quality quality stocks while they're on sale. But if you're looking for some immediate returns now while the market is pulling back and it shows signs of pulling back even further, then buying put options might be the way for you. So I'm gonna show you guys my top three options that I'm probably gonna buy this week. I'm gonna do technical analysis for you in this video. And then I'm probably gonna give you an extra two bonus stocks at the end of this video for all of the guys that stick around. So if you wanna stick around to the end of this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But before we dive into this video, this video is brought to you by Webull. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit any amount of money, and right now you can receive five free stocks valued up to $9,300. With those five free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Also, I'm gonna leave one of the best offers yet a link to Moomoo Moo down in the description. Right now, if you sign up, deposit $100, you can receive up to six free stocks and a free stock of Lucid. With those six free stocks, once again, you could keep them inside the platform and use it, or you can sell those six free stocks and withdraw of your money. Guys, that is one of the best um, offers they had all year that's one of the best offers they ever had do not miss out on that opportunity those two links are going to be down in the description but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video welcome back dreamers here we are on trade view the first stock that i'm gonna probably put a put on this week if all of my parameters meet is Kroger's ticker symbol KR. Now Kroger's food companies, uh, grocery stores are usually safe investments during the stock market recession, but we are not quite in a recession yet. But I do think it got quite a ways to pull back due to how the supply chain has been. Stores has been out of stock on a couple of items every time I went there. Even Chick-fil-A has been out on some of their biscuits, on their breakfast sandwiches. So supply chain is pretty much hurting um, these grocery stores right now, even though they usually perform pretty well during recessions. But with all of that said, the reason I'm looking at um, Kroger's this week is because they have an earnings report coming up on Thursday, I believe. And I do not think they're going to hit that earnings report and it could pull back um, some more or it could pull back leading up to that earnings report with the expectations that they're going to miss and we could sell and get out of this before thursday even come with a slight profit so if we do a quick technical analysis on kroger's we're going to go and look at their support and resistance lines and right now as you guys can see kroger's is near uh, at the top of that downtrend line here's a resistance uh, point right here resistance resistance and resistance so it could bounce off this line and pull back even more and if we look at some support and resistance zones this is one obviously right here in this zone it met once twice three four times five times so we're going to use this as the new resistance line so if you do pull back up to here uh that might be a good time to get in expecting that it's going to pull back down and then another good support line for kroger's will be around in this zone 
right in here. So if we could get in right here and it pulls all the way back to around $48, $47, that would be a major come up for us on Kroger's if we get in at a good price. If it do start to pull back when the market opens on Monday, um, if the RSI look good and if the MACD looks well, this will be a great entry playing the earnings on Kroger's expecting it to pull back. Are we going to do a weekly option on this or a monthly option on this? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to look at some more technical analysis on this to decide that in the future. But right now, Kroger's is looking like a very good setup for it to pull back just a little bit more. Even though the 200 EMA line has not crossed down the 300 um, moving average line yet, this still looks like a pretty decent setup for me with their earnings report coming up on Thursday. So let's move over to the next stock and that's going to be Facebook, AKA Meta. And Meta right now is at the bottom, the bottom of that support line. Let's draw out one more support line right here. As you guys can see, this zone right here, Meta has a very, very, very hard time falling below this price point in this area of around 178 to $175. Right now it's in the zone. If Meta somehow breaks below the $170 price point, $169 price point, then it could have a major pullback coming up soon. If we take a look all the way back, we're not quite at the all time low of around $137. So if it does pull back and break below this support line right here and pulls back, then the next support line is all the way down to $137. So it could pull back from 175 all the way to 140 and that will be a major win for us. So we're gonna keep a very close eye on Meta and see if it breaks below this support line. If it breaks below this support zone right here, if it does, it's gonna be on the rally on the way down. Now Meta is spending a lot of money on the virtual reality world but they even said it in their earnings report that they do not expect to make money on that until probably three, four or five years down the line uh, to see any type of return on the investments in the virtual reality world. But right now they are dumping a lot of money in that. Facebook is probably gonna be around forever because they own Instagram, Facebook, and at the end of the day, they have all of your information. So companies with a lot of information are scary, but always great to have inside your portfolio. And the last one we're gonna look at is AMD, one of my favorite companies. Now, now AMD right here, as you guys can see, is in a major downtrend. Here goes the downtrend line. One, two, three, four, five. The green MLA line crossed down below, showing that it is in a downtrend. It broke below this support level that we drew out a couple of weeks ago and it's showing possibilities of breaking its uptrend pattern right there. So uh, one, two, three, four. If it breaks below that, then AMD could have a pullback before the earnings report comes up in a couple of weeks in July. So if AMD do breaks this downtrend line, I do see that it's probably gonna pull back to its old support line of around 80, Three, let's pull out a rectangle from around 83 to around 85 dollars so if it do break down the amd could pull all the way back to the support line so this one could be a weekly play a bi-weekly play or extended all the way out a month um the macd is crossing down and the rsi is also pointing down so so yeah amd could be one of the best opportunities uh, if it breaks the support line to pull back for a good option buy on this upcoming week. Now, if you made it to the end of this video, two bonus stocks that I'm gonna bring you guys is Apple AAPL. You guys already know I love this company. Now, now Apple is at a support zone right here. As you guys can see, we drew out the support zone a very long time ago. One, two, three, and now four. If it breaks below the support zone of around $137, hopefully, Hopefully we could get Apple for the first time at an undervalued price. As you guys can see right here, um, the EMA line has crossed the MA line showing that it's in a downtrend. It's at a support zone. It could bounce up. So we're, Apple is a pretty strong company. It could bounce back up and we not enter this trade. But, but if it do fall below the support line, then this might be a good trade setup if we could get it for a good price. And last one I'm gonna bring you guys is Airbnb, ticker symbol ABNB. Now Airbnb is also at a little support zone down here. Now usually during the summer times, Airbnb does pretty well, but, <laughs> but this summer with the way gas prices are looking, the way plane tickets are looking, 
um, even the way rental properties value are through the roof. So it's kind of hard to price Airbnbs. I, it's going to be very tough for them to have a very good earnings report coming up, even though this is their summer. Um, Airbnb, a lot of people are saving that money rather than going out on vacations and renting out Airbnbs just for the weekend or just renting out Airbnbs just to have fun in another city. But yeah, I, I if Airbnb breaks the support line of around $105 and pull it back, then we could see a major, another major pullback from Airbnb. Yes, even though it's been pulling back for quite some time now, we could still see another major pullback from Airbnb. So this is another one I'm keeping my eye on when the stock market opens on Monday. And there you go, dreamers. Yes, a dollar cost average again on the stock market, no matter what the price is, is always a good thing to do, especially if you're looking to see returns. If you think the American market is gonna do well over the next five, 10, 15 years, if you think the market is gonna be better in 15 years than it is today, then yes, of course, buy some stocks. But if you're looking for some immediate gains while the stock market is pulling back, you could keep dollar cost averaging down or if you want to see some profits, you guys can start buying put options, betting that the stock market is going to pull down and you can make some quick money that way. But let me know down in the comment section, have you already been buying put options? If you have, have you been coming up? Well, if you already been buying put options, then you probably already made a lot of money. Let me know about that down in the comment section or any of these plays for you. Also, let me know about that as well. But yeah, guys, if you want to keep up on how I play my options this week, I'm going to leave a link down in the comment section. That'll take you to my Patreon. The Patreon will take you to my Discord. Inside the Discord, I post every single time I buy and sell a stock. I post my option trades. I post my technical analysis. And we also have pro day traders in there that post their option trades every single day, whether they're buying options or selling options. We post that in there every single day. So if you want to be a part of a great community that are investing into their sales for their financial freedom, um, go ahead and join the discord that link is going to be down in the comment section but yeah guys don't forget to pick up your free stocks with weeble don't forget to pick up your free stocks with mumu do not miss out on these opportunities free money is free money so don't miss out on these opportunities uh, this is some of the best promotions they had yet so don't miss out on that don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream game show and i'm out peace